Now, if you've been using minoxidil and your hair is starting to shed, that's going to be pretty alarming. So in this video, we're going to tell you what causes minoxidil shedding, how you can go about treating minoxidil shedding and how you can do it naturally. So make sure to stay tuned. Hey guys, Leon here. And before we get into the video on minoxidil shedding, if you are worried about your own hair loss, you can click the link in the description, upload a hair selfie, answer a few short questions and get your free hair guard analysis. So what you're gonna learn about today in this video is we're gonna be looking at how we can use Rogaine to treat thinning and receding hairlines. But then we're gonna look at what causes the shedding from Rogaine uh, we're going to look at how common Rogaine shedding is. We're going to talk about how much shedding you should expect. We're going to see if it's possible to avoid it. Then we're going to show you how to avoid it before coming up with a brief conclusion. Now, Rogaine is a hair loss treatment consisting of a drug called minoxidil. And it's applied to the scalp on a daily basis. The main use for Rogaine is in the treatment of male pattern baldness, the most common form of alopecia. When applied regularly, the active ingredient minoxidil works to promote blood circulation and reduce the effects caused by DHT. Unfortunately, as with any medication, this drug does have some side effects associated with use. These include local irritation, but also some systemic side effects, such as dizziness, excess facial or body hair, and a fast stroke irregular heartbeat. Another side effect of minoxidil use is hair shedding popularly referred to as dread shed. So now let's have a look at what causes Rogaine shedding. During the course of the normal hair growth cycle, shedding takes place. About 100 hairs are shed per day in a healthy individual. And this just means that the telogen phase has ended and the anagen phase is next. When shedding takes place while on hair growth treatments, including Rogaine, the reason is the same. Rogaine and Propecia, the only two FDA approved baldness treatments on the market, both bring your hair from the resting phase to the active growth phase. And they do this in different ways, but the end result of both is excess shedding. Now this can be a disturbing side effect, especially as you're taking medication to grow new hair. However, you really do have nothing to worry about. So how common is Rogaine shedding? It helps to think of Rogaine shedding as less of a side effect and more of a stage of use. This is something that happens in the beginning of treatment and typically in the first to two to eight weeks, but that should subside as treatment continues. Of course, not everyone will suffer from shedding as a result of use, especially if your hair loss has progressed to the point of baldness. But the majority of users will experience some level of shedding. How much shedding should you expect? As mentioned, whether shedding occurs will vary. The same can be said for how much shedding takes place. During the usual hair cycle, about 100 days, sorry, about 100 pairs per day are shed during the telogen phase. However, it's not uncommon to experience more than this during the first few months of minoxidil use as many hairs will be prematurely pushed into telogen. So when should you worry? If shedding continues for more than eight weeks, or if it seems to worsen as treatment continues, we recommend you speak with a hair loss specialist. If you choose to stop minoxidil, be aware that shedding can also occur as a result of this, so you may notice an increase in shedding for a few weeks. Now, as shedding is a sign that the drug is working effectively, stopping the shedding would be counterintuitive. However, you can work to grow the new hair as quickly as possible once the shedding has taken place. So now we're gonna look at whether or not it is possible to avoid that shedding. The first thing that you can do is start using some essential oils. Now, whether you want to increase blood circulation, reduce DHT or cleanse and moisturize your scalp, essential oils are an excellent tool to have in your arsenal. And a few that we recommend at Hair Guard are peppermint oil, cedarwood oil, lavender oil, rosemary oil, and pumpkin seed oil. Now keep in mind that if you use these oils in conjunction with Rogaine, you must wait at least four hours after you've applied the Rogaine. 
This will give the product sufficient time to absorb into the scalp and it will ensure it works as it should. The next thing you can do is scalp stimulation. As Rogaine works by increased blood flow to the scalp, it can be beneficial to add in your own scalp stimulation routine to boost results. There are two basic ways to stimulate the scalp manually, and one is simple massage and the other is micro needling. For scalp massage, all you need is your hands. Of course, you can also add in some essential oils or even use a scalp stimulation tool to make it a bit easier. We recommend performing a massage for about 5 to 10 minutes every day. The second way to stimulate the scalp is with micro needling. This is a technique used commonly to reduce scarring on the face, but it's also proven to be beneficial in hair growth. In fact, micro needling performed alongside minoxidil treatment improved results significantly as shown by a 2013 research study. Now to perform micro needling at home, you can use a derma roller. This is a handheld tube that can be easily used on a regular basis to provide you with the same effects as in-office microneedling. And as you can see on the right there, that was the results of the study done with the derma roller versus minoxidil alone. An additional tool, though a bit of a pricer than a traditional derma roller, is a derma stamp. This tool has increased precision and is great for beginners. However, the derma roller works just as well and is cheaper and more accessible. Now the next thing we want to share with you is the scalp solution. Our CEO, Will, has personally used Rogaine and other minoxidil containing products in the past. However, he thought that the side effects and the fact that the results stopped quickly after use uh, made it non-ideal for his needs. And he went ahead and created the scalp solution, which is something that we've been promoting at HairGuard as an effective hair growth technique that's natural. In brief, this method involves breaking down the scalp plaque that has built up over time and applying a hair growth elixir on a regular basis. So what you want to first do is cleanse the scalp and it's crucial because you remove scalp buildup before applying the elixir and this will ensure the elixir is able to fully absorb and it will leave your scalp a healthier environment for hair to grow. So you're going to need half a teaspoon of Himalayan salt, one teaspoon of powdered activated charcoal, four medium sized ginger chunks, a whole cucumber, uh, one whole lemon juice and a juicing machine. First you want to juice the ginger and cucumber or blend them together and strain with a muslin cloth. Uh, and then we recommend you juice the ginger first as ginger can easily clog the juicer and a cucumber will ensure you get every last bit. Then you're going to add 100 milliliters of this mixture to the container of your choice and add in the Himalayan or, or Celtic salt, the powdered activated charcoal and the juice of one lemon, then combine it well. Now run this combination into the areas of your scalp with thinning or irritation. Allow this mixture to sit for 5-10 to 10 minutes as the, as the lemon and ginger need a bit more time to work properly uh, to break up the buildup. Then rinse with lukewarm water. And then using the hair growth elixir. Now you can use this alone or in conjunction with minoxidil. However, before to show to uh, follow the four hour rule mentioned before. So you'll need some uh, hyaluronic acid. You'll need emu oil, saw palmetto, apple polyphenol and a derma roller. Now the exact measurements aren't necessarily important. Um, in, and this recipe will be given in parts so you can make as much or as little as you like. So you want to combine the hyaluronic acid and the emu oil in equal parts. Then pierce a gel saw per metal capsule and add the gel into the mixture in a 1 to 6 ratio. So 1 part saw per metal to 6 parts of the hyaluronic acid and emu oil. Then add 1 part of apple polyphenol to 6 parts of the hyaluronic emu and saw per metal combination. Mix it well. Uh, shake the mixture evenly to, dis to evenly distribute ingredients. Pour it into your palm and apply it to the entirety of your scalp with your fingertips. Uh, then you want to leave it on for 10 to 30 minutes, the longer the better, and then rinse thoroughly with lukewarm or cold water. Now for best results, we recommend using the elixir twice per week. You will begin to see new hair growth within a few weeks of use, and this can be continued indefinitely. To increase results, we recommend you use a derma roller before applying the elixir, and this will increase the mixture's absorbance and will also improve blood circulation, which is a positive result in itself. Now shedding is common in the very beginning stages of minoxidil or finasteride use. It's simply a part of the process and is nothing to be worried about in a majority of cases. However, if you'd rather avoid dread shed or if you're looking for a more natural, healthier alternative to minoxidil and finasteride, we recommend you follow the course of action outlined above. 
While over-the-counter treatments can be effective, their positive results stop as soon as treatment does. So guys, that's what we wanted to share with you today on minoxidil shedding. Uh, hopefully you've learned something and you can start applying this thing, these like the scalp solution and so on, in your hair care routine. Again, don't forget to click the link in the description to get your hair guard analysis and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.